Hi beautiful Aries, welcome to a new era, my name is Emma. Aries, this is your reading for the month of June. Uh, we're going to look into your month a little bit deeper on what to expect. I've done a reading for June, July and August, but more like as a collective for those three months, what the energy feels like. And now we're just going to go deeper into the month of June. I also want to say uh, that I still offer personal readings. If you're interested in a personal reading, please go check it out in the description box. And depending on when you listen to this, if you don't find anything there, it means that I've stopped doing them. So uh, as long as the offer is still there, I still offer it. And you can just send me a message and we'll take it from there. Okay. So what is going on for Aries for the month of June? We're going to get... An overall energy here first, and then we're just going to go deeper. For the month of June of 2023. Uh, Eight of Ariel. I'm going to say a couple more cards. Uh, King of Raphael. And... Wow, we have the king and the queen on the table. So maybe there's a romantic partnership that is happening. Queen of Ariel. So we have eight of Ariel and queen of Ariel. So let's see if that is... <laughs> I don't know if, if, you, if I ever said this before and if you ever will hear me say this again. Let's see if this is an, is an coincidence. And if it is a coincidence, it's a very planned coincidence. I look a little bit crazy. I don't know. <laughs> the hair is standing up. Um, okay. So the king and queen, but let's start with eight of Ariel because that came up first. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. So what I'm feeling here though is that there's something, this can be education. It can be that you have done something like you've jumped on board into something that's quite new to you that you have been interested in for a while. Like you've been wanting to learn more. You've been wanting to start this new job, this new business. And you jumped on board on that and it has gone really well like you have done a really beautiful job here i just feel like there's something more that you want to educate yourself in like there's there's like and it's a general feel like it's a you want to educate yourself in life like you want to get the hang of things you want to understand how how things intertwine how things work uh together so if that is you jumping on like an actual online course if this is a workshop in real life if this is uh reading more books or, and study this a subject at hand that you're interested in it's really promoting that at this time for the month of june it's really highlighting like it's really going to be beneficial for you to do something educational here and then we have the uh, queen of ariel and if i just do this separately first the queen of ariel and the king of Raphael. um nurture yourself Queen of Ariel. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Practical and wise advice. So in the month of June, I just feel like this is you coming more into your own. You're starting to feel your own skin, if you will. And I don't care what age you are. I, I don't care if you're 25 or 75. It's like, and if you're 85, you're like, why didn't take, why didn't you bring up my name uh, or my age? Uh, I, I, I'm serious. It doesn't matter what age you are. This is when you're starting to recognize your own skin, come into your own skin, maybe even liking to be a little bit more in your own skin. As before, I feel like there's been a, this is just, it sort of goes hand in hand with the education here a little bit. It's like you want, you, you have a want for something now. Like there's a wish here. There's a, if, if things has been a little bit, little bit heavier in the energy uh, Aries like a, a while ago it feels lighter now and I don't know I mean here in Sweden we're coming more and more into the sunlight we're getting really into the summer uh, and if you're in the southern hemisphere you're obviously going to be more and more towards the winter so it's not necessarily that but it, it is a lighter energy that you're starting to recognize and you're starting to implement it into your life and so wherever there was a little bit of hardship, it, you probably will feel like it's going to get easier and easier. And wherever you feel like maybe you didn't like yourself or like the way that you looked or like the way that you're dressed or like the way, like you have an, you have an opinion in how you dress. You can just change your, the way that you dress. But it's like, 
the way that you carry yourself or the way that you sort of come across in, on this planet or whatever this is for you, you're starting to light what you see. It's like the, the month of June is really kind, if you will. It's like it's, um, it's easier to find yourself in the month of June and, and like what you see. And then the King of Raphael says, yes, it's safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. And with this card, I just feel like because we have a lot of water and there's a lot of water splashing up around this dude. Um, I just feel like there's a lot of emotion here and it's not a bad thing. I think if Aries has pushed down or held back a lot of emotions, I don't think that this is you sobbing all through the month of June. Like you're just sitting down and crying for the rest of June. I just think that you are closer to your emotional body though. Just like you're starting to light what you see and maybe you're like liking a little bit more to be in your own skin. You like, you like what you're stepping into or starting to like what you're stepping into. There's a lighter energy there. This is where like you can get more and more into contact with your emotional body. So you feel more, you recognize, I don't know how to put this really. It's just a, it's not the fact that just because you're emotional doesn't mean that you're sad, but it means you're starting to get more in contact with your emotional body. There's something about like sticking to your own skin, staying within yourself. Like you don't have to escape yourself anymore. I hope this makes sense. And then the fact that we have uh, the queen, the queen and the king on the table uh, for whoever is single out there and is actually looking for a relationship the month of june might just bring about that perfect romantic partnership for you so we're gonna go deeper here and see eight of aerial if we start there and i'm asking the heart deck i call this my heart deck by john holland um we're asking the heart to to clarify there's a purpose like the purpose behind the decks that i'm using each time that i'm doing these readings there's something about like ask your heart and if even that is a thing right now for you that made me be inspired to do this to ask like what does your heart like can we get clar clarification here but not from the mind we want a clarification we want um more clarity from the heart um so can we clarify this eight of aerial please uh we have observe and then we want to clarify the Queen of Ariel. Clarifying the Queen of Ariel. With the heart. <clears throat> Opportunity beckons. Number 12 with Queen of Ariel. And then King of Raphael. King of Raphael. Why is that here? Another four. Joy and joy and stability. And then I'm actually going to pull an extra card for the queen and the king. Okay, I'm drawn to another deck here. So let me see. Can we see what this queen king situation is all about? The queen king. Truth be told, truth be told. Okay, so we're starting with this observe and we're gonna actually read <clears throat> from the book, number 12. And 12 numerology wise is a very masculine, um, it's a masculine action forward, like t taking your plans and move them forward. The observe card. The key word to this is release, <clears throat> surrender, reconsider, patience, cycles, and perspective. A new understanding. Wow. A new understanding around matters of the heart is waiting to be, re to be revealed to you. So remember, this is around education and wanting to go deeper into something. Like I said, whether that is literally like an education in, in something you're interested in or, or if this is like a deep, 
a deepening or like an understanding, deeper understanding of life, of yourself, where you're headed, you know, whatever this is for you. And then we have the observed card that is saying, a new understanding around matters of the heart is waiting to be revealed to you. There's something that's going to unlock. And we have those emotions there come up as well. Be still and observant. Uh, now is not the time to take action. Wow. So let's go back to that because 12 is an action number. So let's see how that comes in here. Uh, now is not the time to take action. Instead, take a step back and wait. Reflect upon the relationship or issue. What is really happening? Release the need to desire. Sorry. Release the need or desire to direct the relationship and simply go with the course of events. When you surrender to the experience, you learn a great deal and ultimately get what you truly need. Sometimes it's in releasing that we discover what we really need as opposed to what we think we need. Trust the process, have faith in the journey, uh, and let go of the outcome. Although forward progress may appear to be slow, now is the time for patience. All things come in a come in the appropriate time and cycle. Progress is improving, improving a current relationship or finding a new relationship will happen when the time and energies are right. When you're open and, re and receptive to the need, needed change, it will happen. During the process of simply observing, you can also gain a new perspective uh, on your situation. You might, how might you think differently about it? Look at your relationship through the eyes of an impartial stranger. What insights, what insights might, I'm so sorry. What insights might that stranger offer you? Listen to the observations with an open mind and heart. By taking a fresh look, you'll bring in energies of awareness and transformation. So I just feel with this is, um, I just feel like it's a little bit of a cryptic message. Like it's not like super, super clear what's going on here. It's a general spread or a general read. So it might be different for everyone. I just feel like this situation right here is when you're trying to get a deeper understanding of something. And like I started out saying, this could, can be really literal. It can be that you're jumping on a course, an online course or taking a workshop or like really diving deeper into a subject that you're really interested in. But for a lot of you guys, for a lot of areas, this might just be a deeper understanding um, of life. There's, there, there can be something around relationships right now or something around a job-related situation or something you tr you're trying to get to the bottom of, of something or try to really understand the situation that it really... Um, um, what do you say? It really benefits you. It really benefits you to um, surrender this, like try to not have an outcome, try to not get a result, try to not look for the result in, in figure something out or in understanding something. I mean, obviously, if you try to understand something, there might be a result at the end of that. But like if there's something that is a little bit up in the air right now and you don't know, you don't have the full... So for instance, let's say that there is a new relationship in your life and you can't really figure out, or, or an old relationship for that matter, someone is coming back into your life, whether that is like a friend or a romantic partnership, we have the queen and the king there on the table. So <clears throat> if there's a person that is coming into your life, you want to understand what this is about. Like, is this my person? Or if this is a friendship, like, is, is this... Like, what are we? Is this just a, an acquaintance or is this like a deep, deep, beautiful friendship? And it's like, mm, you can't really figure out your feelings just yet or you don't know where you're headed just yet. You want to have a deeper understanding. You want to figure this out. So please do that and come from several different perspectives. But allow for the... If this is you figuring out a relationship allow for the relationship to sort of reveal itself to you rather than you deciding two hours in what it's going to be or or leave it because you have already in your mind you think you figure it out you know 
or if it's a job like don't be so quick to judge or don't be try not to, to be so quick to think that you have all have it all figured out it's asking you to actually have some patience and to and to like really look into the situation before you drop it before you make a decision before you think you have the result in your in the palm of your hand because from the looks of it you don't you need more information and you want to dive deeper and learn more about the situation and and it's going to really help you so you prob you are probably the 12 right now because the 12 is standing out to me. The 8 I haven't even mentioned. But the 12 is really standing out to me today. Which is talking about action forward. Let's do this. Let's organize this. Let's go for it. And I think that's you, Aries. You want to have the answers. You want to get things organized and planned out. And, and know what's going to happen. But it's asking you to actually surrender a little bit. Okay? And then we have the Queen of Ariel. With, the, with Opportunity Beckons. And... So this is all you, like everything you touch turns in, like you have the Midas touch, like everything you touch turn, turns more beautiful. You're starting to like what you see. You're st there's a confidence that is coming through from, from within that makes you more, like you just like yourself better. You like your path better. And together with the opportunity beckons, I just feel like this situation here, if you are going like, I don't know really if I like myself better, I don't know if like, mm, I wish I did. I'm speaking for you. I wish I did. Then know that there's a lot of like, this is on the table. Like there's a, there's a way for you right now to really start to like what you see within yourself, whether it's like a, around your body, around your personality, around your uh, talents and whatnot. Uh, and then there's a lot of opportunities floating around. Like there's a lot of opportunities in the ethers that is sort of waiting to land in your life. But the opportunity beckons energy here is speaking a little bit how you're missing opportunities. Like you're not fully, you're not stepping into the energy that's being offered. Is that making sense? Do you feel like there's a, do you feel like there's more? You just can't figure it out. And then we go back to education there again. It's like you, you're trying to figure out the situation. What is it that you're missing so that you're not fully stepping into these offers that's on the table? And it's not interesting to know what you're missing. It's interesting to know what you're finding. Sort of look into more what you're finding rather than what you're missing. And, be, and rather than being disappointed if things haven't shown up in the way that you want to, to be really excited and to be really grateful for the things that already have. It's like, a, it's like a shift, it's the hangman, it's the observe, it's like a shift in mentality, shift in perspective, and everything feels like it's going to fall into place. Because um, then we have the King of Raphael with joy and stability. Yes, it is safe to trust, the ability to accomplish many things at once, follow your creative passions. I just feel like this is, this is all you, Aries, that there's an insecurity there to maybe go for your passion so go for what it is that you truly want maybe you have ideas or dreams or um you're thinking of certain things that you want to do but you're you wonder if it's if it's safe to do them maybe because you have been disappointed in the past or whatever whatever the situation is it is safe to trust and the more the more you allow yourself to, to, to like really step into your power, to really step into your joys in life, to your passions, the joy and stability is more and more created. It's not going to throw you off your game or like it's not going to pull the rug from underneath your feet. It's not, there's a little bit of like, don't get too excited in advance because we don't know where this is going to end up or like don't get, you know, you know, <laughs> It's this horrible, horrible saying in Swedish that I heard like years and years back from this lady. She was a little bit older and she was like, I was taught when I grew up, I was taught like, don't be happy in the morning because you'll, you'll cry before the night is over anyway. Don't be too happy in the morning because you'll cry before the night is over anyway. What is that? Like, that is like, that is like, don't walk around feeling happy in case something goes south, you know, but instead see it as, you know, ask for it 
wait for it, be excited about it, be happy about it arriving. And the worst case scenario is that it doesn't show up and then you've just been happy for no reason. Isn't that better? And the happiness will bring about what it is that you want. So there's like a, it's almost like we're needing to uh, boost Aries here a little bit. Like it's okay to, you want to understand on a deeper level and you want to understand how to make certain things work. And there are certain passions on the table that you're not really quick on jumping on board with because you might get disappointed or you might, you know, fail or whatever. But at the same time, you're really, you need to work on your patience because you want certain things to fall into place, but yet there's another vibration saying, but I don't know if I want to, you know, so there's a little bit of a mixed message here. And it's asking you to just be with your emotions, be with everything that comes up to the surface. And the more you follow your passions, the more you follow what feels good to you in the moment, the more, the more joy and stability you're going to start to create in your life. And we have the uh, two number fours, and then we also have um, 14, which is a new beginning for the heart. So it's a heart matter. And I decided today that I wanted to clear up any messages with the heart. Then we go into the king and queen. <clears throat> and for some of you, uh, Aries, if you're single and if you're looking, because if you're single doesn't necessarily mean that you're looking. But if you're single and you're looking for a relationship, this is the most authentic you have ever stepped into. And I think that's because you are start you're starting to like what you see. You're starting to like your own skin. Like you're start starting to like the feel of being who you are and really settle into that version of yourself. And the more honest and the more real that you are with yourself, the more that you will attract from the outside. So here's a situation with the king and queens, you know, it can be queen and queen and king and king, obviously. Um, but this is just talking about how you're attracting your person and how this person is going to be so loyal and so trustworthy and so friendly and just really, really honest. It's just an authentic, authentic relationship. You don't have to wonder who this person is. And as you come together with them, if you're Aries and if you're looking, as you come together with them in the month of June, uh, that's going to be a new beginning for your heart. Just as much as I feel like these are new emotions coming up to the surface, I think releasing, releasing a little bit of heavier emotions there, just letting them come up to the surface, you're going to come into more like you haven't really been in this, on this emotional journey in your body before, and it's going to be really pleasant. And 14 there again is stating that this is a new beginning for the heart. So for whoever's looking, there's a gorgeous, gorgeous, authentic, very beautiful, uh, loyal re relationship. <laughs> relationship. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, waiting for you. Okay. I don't know. It feels a little bit all over the place. Maybe you are a little bit all, all over the place and you want to just figure out your path right now. You want to just get more clear about where you're going. What do you want with your life? You're trying to go to get to the bottom of things as you figure out how to move forward and how to let in all these opportunities that are sort of swirling around outside of you. The more you move towards that, the more joy and stability in your life you will have. You won't get disappointed. Okay, that's the message that I message that I have for you for the month of June. Thank you so much for watching. Again, send me a message, message if you're interested in a personal reading. Take care, guys.